please raise your hand if as a child your mother asked you to close your legs every time you wore a skirt. Keep your hand up or raise it if you ever wanted to disappear because of strangers and dressing you with their eyes. If you are used to people staring at you, calling you out, or sexualizing your body in the street. Keep your hand up, and now look around you. I am sure the people you see who have their hand up will allow you to see the point I'm about to make. During my studying years, I came across the words of Simon Corfsos. All their lives, women are torn between two attitudes, to show themselves and to hide. I would add, from the male gaze. Throughout their lives, women are torn between showing and hiding from the male gaze. But how did this gaze become so omnipresent in our life? Our body is our first connection to life. We breathe, drink, eat, experience warmth, sadness or love for it. When we are babies, we simply exist in our body without worrying of its shape or its color. During childhood, by being confronted with the gaze of other children or adults, our perception of ourselves changes. And it is at this moment that we start to recognize ourselves as girls, boys, fat, skinny, disabled, or as Arab, black, brown, Asian, or other, if we are part of the minority of the country in which we grew up in. Later on, when we, people with female presenting bodies, reach puberty, the look we receive from the outside starts to change. Having left childhood behind forever, we quickly understand that these strange looks are directed towards our new female forms. Fantasized, sexualized, objectified, as we grow up, we build our identity in reaction to these looks. Not having had the time to fully appropriate its new shapes, its smells, its connection with the moon, we have already detached ourselves from this new body. We detach by perceiving it through the eyes of the other, by forcing it to match the unrealistic ideal of the female body. Growing up, Many of us spent hours dancing to the music videos that were on TV. My friend and I would innocently imitate the dance move of the Pussycat Dolls, Fergie, Sierra or Beyonce during our uh, sleepovers or on the school playground. From a young age, we wanted to look like them, to be as cool as they were, so we wore makeup and our sister high heels. But we didn't understand back then that they were the embodiment of the hypersexualization we were about to experience. While wanting to show it for some kind of 
approval, we've also learned to hide our bodies in order to avoid violence. According to UN Women, nine in 10 women in cities around the world feel unsafe in public spaces. I guess that's why one day, when I was walking down the street in the middle of the afternoon, I felt scared when I saw a group of about 10 men farther on. Automatically, I started to analyze all the parameters. Outside from a couple with a young child, the street was empty. And as I walked toward them, I remember repeating to myself the right behavior to follow. Don't do anything to attract their attention. Don't change the sidewalk. Don't walk faster and just look straight ahead. I passed them and nothing happened. They didn't even look at me. Only, I am a woman. And at this moment, my heart sank. Because the scenario could have been way different and could have included violence, whether verbal or physical. Today, I will share with you a tool to detach ourselves from this violence that our body experiences on a daily basis and from the validation we crave for it. I will guide you through connecting or reconnecting to our feminine energy through the power of nudity. I started looking for liberation for my body when I was living in Nigeria. More than ever before, I found myself stuck in the male gaze. I realized there that I will never be able to run away from the reality of my female body, from my curves, my breasts, my butt, the sway of my hips. In Nigeria, in France, in the Netherlands, everywhere, it seems that when showing our feminine forms, we must face the male desire. The thing is, I would like to live in my body and have the freedom to not attract attention. I started thinking, like too often, they take the liberty to look at it, to admire it, to desire it. They sometimes want to possess it and can even go as far as touching it. I would like women and myself to have the possibility to exist beyond our gender. I would like us to reclaim our body, a private body that has been seen as public for way too long. I wish that for a moment we could exist for ourselves and through ourselves, not having to play the role of a woman in a man's world. And who would have thought that this one man randomly met at a dinner party will help me realize his hopes? He was a painter and asked me to model for him and his students. That's how weeks later, for the first time, I was posing as a life model. Imagine. 
I'm in a studio making myself comfortable in order to hold a long pose. I observe them from afar with their brush. They meticulously measure every single part of my body, from my head resting on my hand, to my cough hiding my thigh. Laying naked in front of them, I feel the tension of the different muscles in my body, the pressure of the blanket against my forearm, the air getting colder as time passes and a multitude of thoughts running through my mind. I take deep and slow breaths. I feel a strong sense of freedom while in their eyes at this very moment, I am only an object with contours composed of full and empty areas. It may sound crazy, but being seen as I truly am, without being desired or sexualized, was what I needed in order to finally feel at peace. Through this experience, I realized that feeling my body rather than looking at it made me feel complete. It was so fulfilling that I wanted to keep that feeling with me at all times, and especially in the street the place where I felt the most vulnerable. I could not change the way others see me, but I could change the way I feel in my body. This is how I started inviting women to wander naked under a boo-boo in the street. The boo-boo is a traditional non-gender garment from Central and West Africa. Thanks to its loose feet, the boo-boo allows for a unique experience of intimacy. The air travels over the entire body, while the fabric freely caresses the bare skin. In this way, through hiding, you take ownership of your body. To wear the boo-boo without wearing anything underneath is to wear one's nudity. By wearing these garments, I truly think that most women will feel a profound connection to their body, to their feminine energy. They dress with their sensations and therefore are their own center. In Nigeria, for example, Chinue, who did the experiment in a, a crowded market, told me that usually when she is in the market, people try to grab her hand, to grab her arm, in order to sell her their goods. But this time, she was walking, and no one even touched her once. She then confessed to me that wearing this outfit, the boo-boo, made her feel bolder. She felt liberated and somehow free. She felt like herself. To be naked in public 
and to have the power to not attract attention is to prove to ourselves that we can be women without just being a woman's body. Of course, this is not the only way to demolish the trap of sexual objectification. There are as many experiences as there are women. And before I leave you, I would like to emphasize the fundamental things I have learned through my experiences and to encourage you to appropriate them however you wish. On this journey, the main tool I learned to reappropriate myself from my body was to experience it from within. This means looking at my body through my sensations, seeing my appearances for what it is, contour, full, and empty areas, and choosing my wholeness over validation. In deciding the context and the way I would present myself, I asked to be seen for who I am and not for what I represent. Now, I would like to address those who raised their hand earlier. How will you choose to turn your gaze toward yourself? How will you reconnect to your body, to your feminine energy? What will you make you feel just like yourself, to feel complete? What will be your boo-boo? Thank you. <laughs>